I'm going to show you how to make the best turkey meatloaf that is never dry. I'm going to share with you a few tips and tricks that I use to ensure that my meatloaf is always moist and delicious. I like to use sandwich bread in my meatloaf. To me, this makes it really moist. I don't have to add any milk or any additional liquid. And I'm just going to pulse this in my food processor to form breadcrumbs. Next, I am going to blend vegetables. Now the addition of vegetables not only has nutritional value, but it also helps to keep the meatloaf moist. I am using a combination of red peppers, carrots, and onions. You can also add mushroom and zucchini as well. And I like to pulse this until it's as fine as possible, but you don't want it to be a paste. You still want it to have some sort of a texture. Adding the fresh breadcrumbs and the vegetables not only works for turkey meatloaf, you can also do this with beef meatloaf and even meatballs. Now I'm adding the vegetables and the fresh breadcrumbs to the ground turkey. I'm also going to add an egg. This egg is going to add as a binder and it will hold and keep everything together so that your meatloaf doesn't fall apart. Next I'm going to add the seasons and I am adding salt and pepper and a combination of chopped up fresh herbs and that's basically thyme, scallion and parsley but you can use whichever combination you prefer. And I mix it all together using a spoon, you don't want to overwork it, just mix it until everything is evenly distributed and then I'm going to place it onto a baking pan and just form it into the shape of a loaf. Adding the fresh vegetables and the breadcrumbs not only works well for a turkey meatloaf but you can also use this in a beef meatloaf or even meatballs. Then I'm going to place this into the oven and let that bake. While that bakes, I'm going to prepare the topping and it's just a simple combination of ketchup, mustard and brown sugar. And I'm just going to mix this all together. Now you can also use a barbecue sauce or even like a sweet chili sauce as the topping but this, the kids love this because well, children tend to love ketchup so this is my favorite to use um, on top of the meatloaf. I removed the meatloaf from the oven after about 30 minutes and then I am going to top it with the glaze. Now you want to spread this glaze all over the outside because it is so good. Now once I've done that, I'm going to crank the oven up, place it back into the oven and bake it for about 10 minutes just until that glaze has thickened and it starts to bubble just like that. And you want to wait about 10 to 15 minutes before cutting into it and it is so so moist and it's so easy i love meals like this because it's easy to cook during the week it doesn't require a ton of ingredients and it is absolutely delicious as always i will have the full recipe link down below in the description box if this is your first time here be sure to subscribe and leave me a comment and i will see you guys next time